Hello, welcome to Quant Business Analyst Training Program. We are discussing about technological controls in ISO 27002. Continuing our discussion on user and point device. The next important policy that would help provide control to manage the user endpoint device is storage device encryption. Storage device encryption is a technique that uses encryption algorithms to convert data on a storage device into an unreadable format which can only be decrypted using a secret key. This technique is useful because it provides an additional layer of security to protect sensitive or confidential information stored on a storage device, such as a hard drive or USB flash drive. Encryption ensures that even if an unauthorized person gains access to the storage device, they will not be able to read or access the data without the proper decryption key. In case a storage device is lost or stolen, encryption can prevent the data from being accessed by anyone who finds it. This is particularly important for organization that handles sensitive data and need to comply with various regulatory requirements. Encryption can be implemented through various techniques such as a full disk encryption, a file level encryption or a folder level encryption. The encryption key must be kept secure and the decryption process must be reliable to ensure that data can be accessed only by authorized user. Let us talk about another policy. This is the weakest link in majority of the organization. We call it as remote access. So, the policy is about remote disabling, deletion or lockout. What is remote access? Remote access refers to the ability of user to access an organization's network for systems or systems from a location outside of the organization's physical premises. Now, this can be done through a variety of means, such as a virtual private networks, VPNs, uh, or a remote desktop software or web-based applications. Remote access is important because it allows employees and other authorized uh, individuals to access organizational resources from remote locations which can improve productivity and uh, collaboration. However, if uh, the remote access is not properly secured, it can also pose a significant risk to the organization's information security. Attackers can exploit vulnerabilities in remote access systems to gain unauthorized access to organization's network or systems, steal sensitive data or cause other damage. Now, to mitigate these risks, it is important to establish policies and procedures for a secure remote access and to disable, delete or lock out remote accesses for user who no longer require it. Another policy very interesting, it's all about backups. So backup of data refers to the process of creating copies of important data and, and storing them in a separate location or system, so usually to protect against data loss or corruption. So it is important because it ensures that critical data is not lost in the event of system failure, hardware damage or even cyber attacks. Backup can be done manually or 
automatically and can be stored on physical devices such as uh, external hard drive, tapes or uh, cloud storage. The backup copies should be regularly tested to ensure that the data is recoverable, retrievable and intact. In case of data loss or corruption, the organization can quickly recover the data from the backup copies and minimize the disruption to business operations. Uh, backups are particularly important in the context of information security and compliance. So data loss or compliance can result in a breach of confidentiality, integrity or availability of information. Something which is very new uh, as a policy that you should know is all about end user behavior analytics spelled as U-E-B-A. We pronounce it as Uber for simplicity. So Uber refers to the process of collecting and analyzing data on user behavior within an organization's network. This includes analyzing data related to users' login patterns, access to sensitive information, and other activities that could indicate a potential security threat. See, so Uber is important because it is it, it can help identify security threats that may be difficult to detect using the using the traditional security methods now by analyzing user behavior uber tools can identify anomalies that may indicate a potential security breach such as unusual login patterns or attempt to access sensitive data from an unauthorized location now this can help organization quickly respond to potential security threats and uh, prevent data breaches or other security incidents. Additionally, Uber can also help organizations identify potential policy violations and improve their overall security posture by gaining a better understanding of how users interact with their systems and data. So, there are many more policies that can be implemented in an organization to have strong control over the user endpoint devices. It is advised that one should have or have the list of policies requirement as suggested by the ISO 27002 and uh, implement the same for better control over the over user endpoint devices. In our next video, we will discuss on how proper training on user responsibility uh, using personal devices in an organization and configuring, configuring the wireless connections have better control over the user endpoint devices. So please uh, join back and uh, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.